Hello people, uh, this is X Reflex here and I'm gonna um, go through the um, Core Video Studio Pro X3 software and teach you how if you know how to use it um, or not. I'm basically gonna teach you how to use this thing. Uh, the 12 I got the full on version, I managed to get it off the internet as well. Which is what you're supposed to get off anyway, but um, there's a trial version. Um, just search up called Video Studio Pro X3, blah blah blah. So, this is the um video software that I use. I don't use like Sony Vegas or well, I sometimes use Camtasia, but that's for my other videos for like Pocket Masters 1. So, if you want to have a look at the videos I'll do on Pocket Masters 1, even though it's basically just music, you can have a look at that. So first things first, we're going to teach you, um, when we're going through mostly the basic stuff. So, um, for this, the only, I've got some, like, Call of Duty clips, so I'm going to be using those, so, what I'll be using is, um, I've got a couple of clips there, a bunch of random other ones, so, um, first things first, I'm going to teach you how to import, just go to file, um, Insert media, I believe, or export. Nope, open project. It should be one of those. Um, if you can find it, maybe not. But the old fashioned way, which I usually do, I minimize everything. Um, we'll just go and click on one of these. Okay, let's just grab this like a skill. You drag down, then over. Basically, wait for the thing to happen until it comes up with the plus button add it in and there you go it's like a skill video I delete that because we don't need it so we've got this clip here um, easy way to import it um, is just click and drag and then the clip will be played um, the play the timeline is split into two different sections you've got the clip which is basically the um, selected um, audio or video that you've selected the project is basically means that it um, plays to the whole every single clip and every single music that you decide to put in so within this clip people have seen it before um, I'm just gonna quickly mute the volume so it doesn't overtake my voice um, that reminds me I might as well show uh, if you were to double click on the video or clip um, basically it come up with video and attribute in the video you can decide how long you want it to be the volume if you want it to fade in fade out so it's like the music system whatever color correction um, we may go that later on I don't know um, take a snapshot basically it takes an image you can do anything with that image I think you've seen it before uh, with attribute you can basically um, do anything as special effects and with those eff effects you can edit them and blah 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 I've done it before I'm very new to the OFX thing but I'll keep with this because it's more simple and very easy to use so first things first we are first going to check how long this has been going on for 3 minutes fair enough that'll be long enough okay with this um, we're going to also learn how to trim and cut off video. So if we were to play this video first, make sure that it's still muted. Yes it is, that's good. Good good good. I can't click the fucking button. Um if you were to click the video, what happens is as you can see um I got this on my HD PBR and used my um uh, I can't say it theatre mode from Black Ops. So as you can see from the first frame, it basically stops for about roughly three seconds, and then it does a clip, and then it stops at around nine, eight seconds. And uh, to be honest, you'll be completely fine. All you have to do is click from here. So all you have to do is grab the rub scrubber, as the this system calls it and basically go on until you see the first frame when you start to move now what happens is you'll see the character move so you have to click on um, the timeline 
click on the millisecond which goes into frames basically and you basically keep going up until you reach the frame where it starts move um, the movement so my, my um, lowest one is 3.5 so I would basically go to the scissors and split it in half with the first bit which is just the frame I can happily click the delete button and voila it's gone and you can do the same thing for when it's finished which is around here so we're gonna see so we know that it finishes around here so we're gonna say 20 is its finish point click on that that and delete so that's the first clip done uh, if you click on project it'll be basically play whatever section then it has these two taskbar things which you can play whichever parts you want which gets accurate and that's pretty much it.